and it'll say good day to you this day of your time. After the transmissions we have delivered for the past 40 years of your time, we now begin a new chapter, having reached the end of one cycle and the beginning of another. The only other question I have at this time, it just dawned on me that like the work you're doing to uh, with First Contact, I was really happy to hear uh, what the announcement you made uh, about the next coming year. Uh, um, my question is, is like, what, what do we uh, uh, on this planet at this time, what do we offer uh, in this exchange? Many different things, many different perspectives, ways of experiencing life, ways of expressing your creativity that are different from ours. It enhances and builds and adds to our understanding of all the different ways that all that is has of expressing itself. Plus, again, the idea is that in the suggestions that we will deliver in the upcoming transmissions, we will see how you use your creativity to perform these acts for all those who are willing to follow these suggestions, take the actions, and increase their vibrational frequency to be that more aligned with the Interstellar Alliance. You will come at it from a unique point of view. After one becomes enlightened, is there any steps along one's path of spiritual development, or is this awakening the last step? Enlightenment never ends. There are always different levels to awareness and enlightenment and experiences of all that is. Even if someone imagines that they reach the so-called quote-unquote highest level of becoming one with all that is, becoming one with source, there are still many versions of what it means to experience becoming one with source. So even becoming one with source is not the ending of enlightenment or awareness. It is infinite, goes on forever, never ends, there's always something else.